I have totally outgrown, outloved these bookshelves. Any place that I can find a nook or cranny to shove my cute little books in, I will. And I finally decided it is time to upgrade to big, beautiful bookshelves. So we're gonna do that and do a bookshelf tour. It is time that we add some more bookshelves to our book corner. Hi guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new and if you are new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm so glad that you're here. I space i have too many books and not enough places to put them so ian and i bought three huge bookshelves they're like six feet and we are going to try and figure out where to put them i think i want one in the bedroom and one next to my little bookshelf here in the living room i don't love how my bookshelf is organized so we're gonna do organizing my bookshelf figuring out the system that i want and then where i want the bookshelves i guess the first thing we need to start with is taking all of the books off of my bookshelf so let's start there our bookshelves look like this right now so we have my bookshelf on the right in the living room and then ian's is on the left we're gonna play around with it and see what looks good this is the little nook that we have i always thought it would look so cute if we had some bookshelves along here but for now we're just gonna play around with it and see we got these at target each of them they were each 35 dollars and then i believe the short ones were each 25 dollars yeah. the steel yeah <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. I am so excited. <laughs> Rewatching this footage just gets me so excited all over again. What I decided to do was take off all the books off my bookshelf. I wasn't even obsessed with how they looked on this small bookshelf because I was running out of space. So I pretty much was just organizing my books the most efficient way. I wasn't as worried about aesthetics as I was practicality. So whatever... I could do to make more books fit is what I did and now I'm so excited to actually have space and room and more shelves. know I think I want the first few shelves to be fantasy maybe have some romance in there I don't know I like how Akatar is placed but I don't know if I want it on this shelf or maybe the top shelf I think the series looks so unique it has these eyes on each cover I actually haven't read the series but my favorite one is Believe me, I like this cover because it's pink and glittery. all the shelves so I'm trying to think I like how I've been turning some of them front facing and I really like that but right now I am going to store all of my romance and my mystery thriller next I know I have more romance than I do mystery thriller so I'll probably fill these two shelves up with romance <laughs> Thank you. 
Shelf. I'm not obsessed with it. I don't I, I just I'm not loving it. The bottom shelf is really Annoying me, but I have no other option. So I have this bookshelf here and As you can see it's now empty. I just don't have enough books So as I build up my library Eventually this one will be full too and it'll just look so pretty, but for now we have this beautiful bookshelf. Okay, starting with the top shelf, I have the Inheritance Game series. I absolutely love this series and it was hard for me because I love the tabbing that I did on this series. All of the tabs are green on this one and then we have different shades of blue and then reds. I kind of like how it's catty cornered like that a little bit. You can kind of see the cover and the covers on the series, they are so cool. Over here I have the Shatter Me series. So I have the Shatter Me novels right here and then the novellas are right here. They're really small so you can barely see them but there's two right here. I have not read the series yet, but hopefully I can get to it this month or next month. And I just love the covers too, so I really like them right there. Now moving on to probably one of my favorite shelves. We have Akatar. I eventually will have a Sarah J Mass shelf of just all Sarah J Mass books. I love the Akatar series, so of course I have it like this. I kind of like how this looks like a bookstore shelf where it's displayed so I wanted to display the first book of the Akatar series super colorful and then over here we have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom I thought about displaying this cover because I think it's really cool but the cover does have a little bit of water damage, so. Next to Six of Crows, we have Shadow and Bone. Usually you would read Shadow and Bone first and then hop into Six of Crows, but I like Six of Crows better, so I wanted to place it before Shadow and Bone. That's why we have the duology and then we have the trilogy here. Next, I have the Assassin's Blade, and I absolutely love these covers, so I really wanted to display this one as well, but once I get the whole Throne of Glass series, I will have all of them displayed because this is such a cool cover. Moving on to the third shelf, right here I have the Harry Potter series, and these covers are absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this, this is stunning. And then the backs are so unique. They have quotes from each book. So this one's from Dumbledore and it says, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. Remember that. I love how the illustrations look on the back as well as the front. This is the Chamber of Secrets. This is the back of Chamber of Secrets, the Prisoner of Azkaban. And then we have the Goblet of Fire. Then we have the Order of the Phoenix. That looks so good. The Half-Blood Prince. I love that. And lastly, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Look at that on the back. Oh, so good, so good. And then once you put all of the spines together, it forms a picture of Hogwarts, which I think is so cool, but I also love the front covers as well so it's really hard to pick which one i want to display but this is so cool next i have caraval i actually have not read 
Caraval yet or the series, but I've heard mixed reviews, but I still wanted to pick it up because I haven't read anything from Stephanie Garber yet and I really want to read Once Upon a Broken Heart, which is next. And so I kind of just have some more fantasy standalones or um, the first book of a series right here. And then I have the Hazelwood duology right here so i have hazelwood in the night country and then that kind of ends it for fantasy and now moving on to romance for this shelf i decided i wanted to color code my romance so we have white which it's kind of white but it's also a little bit light pink so i just got the white slash light pink and then it goes into darker shades of pink moving on to orange yellow blue green and then black i could put one more book right here but i don't have another one to put so i'm just gonna leave it like this for now i think it looks really good um some of them kind of poke out a little bit or it looks a little weird but i absolutely love it i thought about putting by a thread on display because i love the cover but for now i'm going to just tuck it back in and stick with the color coded moving on to my last shelf i do not like this shelf whatsoever i feel like it looks so weird and i decided to do some romance books right here that were a part of a series so for instance i have the summer i turned pretty series and then next to it i have the selection series so that is where the romance genre ends and then i move into mystery thriller so i have a good girl's guide to murder one of us is lying and then i have another little gap because these are mostly general fiction and i have a couple c.s lewis books right here which i would move into the bedroom because in there i have my christian living theology books it looks good right here but I also feel like I should move them with my other C.S. Lewis stuff, so. That is it for building my new bookshelf and my bookshelf tour. I hope you really enjoyed. I just don't have enough books. I need to fill all of these shelves, so maybe you'll be seeing another bookstore vlog from me soon. If there are some of your favorite books that you have heard me mention or talk about or that you haven't seen on my shelf, you can always go to my Amazon wish list and you can share with me what your favorite book is. Also, comment down any book recommendations you may have because I need to fill these babies up. Oh, I also have some Christmas reads, but I'll probably stash those away in my bedroom for now. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.